Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, as I posted, Microsoft rolled out the first Patch Tuesday updates of the year for Windows 11 and Windows 10, if you are in the ESU on Windows 10. And for Windows 11, 25 and 24H2, that is KB5074109. I'll leave the video for that linked. If you were running Windows 11 23H2, that would be KB5073455. And if you're running Windows 10 on the ESU, that would be KB5073724. Now, just to let you know that unfortunately, Microsoft has confirmed a known issue over on its known issues health dashboard page. Saying that after installing the January 2026 Windows security updates, as mentioned, Credential prompt failures occurred during remote desktop connections using the Windows app on Windows client devices impacting Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows 365. Now, just at the get-go, I'm going to say that this is most probably going to be affecting more the corporate and enterprise environment than your home user, but nonetheless, just to keep you guys posted. Now, this is what the issue is. Microsoft says the issue affects Windows app on specific Windows builds, and the problem is it's causing sign-in failures. So you're not able to sign in. Microsoft says that investigation and debugging are ongoing with coordination between Azure Virtual Desktop and Windows Update Teams. Now, Microsoft has provided a workaround if you do find yourself in this environment. Microsoft says, if you are impacted, please use one of the following connection options as a workaround. Use the remote desktop client for Windows to connect to Azure Virtual Desktop here. I'll leave the link for this in the description. And connect using the Windows app web client as windows.cloud.microsoft. So those are the two temporary workarounds Microsoft has provided. And Microsoft says the next steps is it's actively working on a resolution and plans to release an out-of-band OOB update in the coming days. So that most probably will be made available through the Microsoft Update Catalog. And if and when that happens, I'll let you know. Additional details will be shared as soon as they become available. So Microsoft's also a little bit in the dark regarding this. But hopefully they sort this problem out sooner than later. And the affected platforms, Microsoft says, after installing the updates, are basically Windows 11 across the board, Windows 10 across the board, and also Windows Server across the board. And I'll post if I get more information and when that out-of-band update is rolled out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.